playing cello on the video in this channel and today I'm starting this new section called Cello Corner where I will be talking about cello and if you have any cello related question feel free to ask them uh, in the comments. Today we'll, we're gonna talk mostly about how to get started on the cello. First step you should take would definitely be go to a luthier because you need a cello to play cello. They will have some kind of deal over there um, at the luthier shop and that will be either you have to buy it or you can rent it and then sometimes they have this special deal where you can rent it but that money that you're using for renting goes towards buying it in the end if you want to buy it so you don't have to pay like twice for uh, renting and then buying especially if you're not sure if you're gonna like the instrument if it's gonna work for you or any type of thing it, it offers like a backup option <laughs> cello starts at least here in canada um if you want to get a really good starting cello it will not be under a thousand uh, twelve hundred maybe um, dollars it's pretty expensive but those really good basic cello they will not let you down if you buy one and um, sometimes it's pretty rare though if you find one for like 500 then it's made pretty quickly and the setup is not really well constructed and most of the time they do crack um, they collapse or there's just a lot of issues and you buy them for 500 and then you go to the luthier to make like to repair it and they don't want to work on it because it's too cheap so the amount of money you have to spend on repairing them you should have bought um, a, be a better more a little more expensive one but a better one from the start um, so that's why i would totally recommend to just start off with a really good one that you could sell if something doesn't work out for you you don't want to have it anymore you can just sell it back and it's not going to collapse on somebody's health hands and um, so that will be pretty much the cost to buy a basic cello to start up with once you get your cello you also have to buy some accessories so for accessories you should probably get a stand um, it could be fold full panel or just like this one it doesn't really matter those with complete panel they're more sturdy so that's better but i mean those they're fine as well you can have different kind of mute especially if you're worried about um, practicing at your place and disturbing neighbors or something i would recommend a practice mute it's pretty big and it does change a little bit of the most of the sound i mean it doesn't make a really good quality sound but it's when you want to get some fingers down uh, it's great for that this tiny mute doesn't do much it's more of an orchestra mute actually so if you use that your neighbor uh, will still hear you pretty much very very well so I would totally suggest this one for removing most of the noise and this one is if you need it for some pieces or orchestra playing you will also need depending on where you live if it's super super humid you probably won't need it but if you're living in Calgary <laughs> or any place where it's super super dry you will need this which is a humidifier um, you can buy those. They go into the F holes of the cello. They're pretty neat actually. You can get two of those and because of the bigger piece over there they don't just fall through so that will be annoying. And then you can also have this uh, device here which is um, a strap with a little end pin holder so that way you don't have to destroy your um, your flooring. <laughs> I was looking for the word. You don't have to destroy the flooring. You could also play on a carpet, but if you're changing a lot of times uh, of the place you practice, like uh, depending on where you practice in your own, then you will probably need that. It's just you don't have to worry about um, making leaving traces of your playing everywhere. You will need. That is a must-have. The other one are like optionals, but this is a must-have. Is mine is pretty broken actually. <laughs> it's ro It's a rosin. Um, you need that for the bow. If you don't have this, then it won't make any sounds because this will stick to the hair and that allows you to play. So that is a must have. You have different kind. Um, some are more powdery, some are more sticky, some are more... Um, it really depends on what you want. I would suggest just to buy one, try different ones and then you'll find one that you like. And they're really, really, really fragile. That's why mine is broken. So you might want to just be very careful about this. Not drop it. If you drop it once, it's just going to crash. And then you have to buy a new one. And finally, you really need a metronome and a tuner. Everybody needs that. I have this huge thing here, which is Dr. B. You do not need that. This is, I don't think they even make those anymore. 
um, and mine is like super broken. <laughs> you really, you could just get one on your phone or the two of them in one app on your phone. As long as you do practice with a metronome, you tune your cello with a device, so you're making sure that you have the right pitch, then you should be good. So the next step would be once you get all of the accessories and the cello, you want to find a teacher. Why you should get a teacher is not to learn the theory stuff. That is pretty much easy to learn on your own, but posture-wise, technique-wise, it's really important to not start with bad habit because having a collapsed wrist or um, a lot of tension could just create um, injuries or uh, make your cello learning journey even harder. And once you actually want to learn um, and change stuff, then it's even harder for you to change the bad habits that you've been training your body over and over. Because the brain learns pretty, pretty quickly. And then you have to undo all of that and then redo on top of it. So it's easier to just start from the bottom and start right and then um, grow with it. Because of that, it is very important to choose your teacher uh, with a lot of um, care because you don't want just anybody to be teaching you cello. So just make sure you research what their background in music is and what are the credentials, the diplomas and stuff like that. So finally, the last step would be to practice. If you wanna become good at something, you have to practice. You really have to find a uh, time every day so you improve gradually and you don't forget everything right after your lesson. It's not something that you can just pick up whenever and suddenly you'll become better. You really have to work at it, especially at the beginning. And you have to do the boring stuff, especially at the beginning. You have to do all of the skills, you have to do all of the exercises, all of the technique because that will be allowing you to just pick up any piece you want and just play it um, sight reading. And that's the, the best part of it, when you can just play stuff that you really want to play. But be before that, you really need to build up your skills, like anything in life, I think.